Busting the dryer coin myth. Is there a such thing as a dryer coin? Do you have a coin that looks like this? Maybe it's a dime. Maybe it's a cent. Maybe it's a whatever. Well, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the facts. Over here is coincommunity.com. This is their forum. It's different than Coin Help You Community. But over here is Earl. Earl also posts on our forum. He's one of my admins. He is a great guy, very knowledgeable, and very helpful. He has tools that will help you out over on our help community or over here that are bar none. Well, here is a whole image of dryer coins. Okay, dryer coins do exist, and the, a dryer does cause the damage. Okay, a dryer causes the damage. You can look at each one of these coins, and I'm sure each one of you have one of these. Have a coin that looks something like this and have wondered what happened to it. And this is what happens. This is the dryer drum, and the coin gets in between, and it gets rolled around and rolled around and rolled around, and that rim gets folded over is what basically happens. It kind of looks like it's pounded. It kind of looks like it's it, – obviously, the reading's going to be worked out. The reading's going to be gone, okay? And – Here's some more images. I mean, you can come over here. I'll provide a link to this. I mean, these images show you coins that were found in a dryer by an actual person who owned a laundromat. Okay. <laughs> this person, you know, owned a laundromat and they found them in the dryer. This is how this happens. You, it's irrefutable evidence of what happens. And these are found often in dryers. Here's another example. Just example after example after example. And they can become extreme depending on how long they're in the dryer, their alloy mixture. Most of them are clad. Some of them are scents. So, like I said, I'll have a link for this. Now, there is one process during the minting process that's similar to this. Okay? And we'll watch a little bit of this video. This is called the Upsetting Mill. This is a U.S. Mint video, and I encourage you to go over to U.S. Mint. You see how the rim's being raked? Okay, well, they stop at a certain point, obviously, because they're only supposed to have a certain size rims, so they fit into the, the retaining collar, the collar die. And when coins are inside that and they're struck, they obtain their reading, okay, and it retains the size, of the, the diameter of that uh, coin the actual U.S. Mint specifications for it. Now, if they are not struck inside the retaining collar, then they look like this. This is what you would call a broad-struck coin. It won't have the reading. It'll be struck out. Maybe you'll have some partial reading. It depends. But this is what the would, example of a coin that's not struck properly and not struck within a collar that would retain it so that it spreads out. That's what will happen. If a coin is not struck with the reading, okay, you can come over here to Heritage. This is Heritage uh, sold auctions and look up broad struck and you can see what it looks like. Then you have people who spoon coins and that's what I showed you at the beginning of the video. Uh, the walking half dollar I have here has been spooned. People making coin rings. You can come over here and watch videos on it. So really, in essence, and I even this is one of my videos that came up. So in essence, if you have one of these coins, it is a dryer coin or it's a spoon coin. It's something someone did to the edge or some something mechanical outside of the mint. So dryer coins do exist. There's too much information on it. People have factually found these inside dryer drums and inside dryers when they're working on them. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.